Welcome to Senior High School Entrepreneurship. Let's explore together to the world of learnings. I now, I want you to feel comfortable with your seats and give yourself a virtual clap for the perfect attendance. Don't forget to prepare the following, notebook and pen, paper and book or module, for we are needed it during the discussion. And be guided with the word wealth, for us to be safe and secure during our class setup. Be guided also with the scoring set up during the learning task or activities given. Now, let's review what we have learned last topic. If you really understand the topic last meeting, please give yourself a virtual clap. If you have clarification about our last topic please don't hesitate to inform me. Now, I want you to say something about the picture being presented. Now, can you start an enterprise right away? Of course, note right? There are things that we need to consider before doing or making decisions. Now, what do you think is our topic today? Great, our topic today is about business plan. But before we will continue, let's know the learning competencies for us to be guided with our discussion. Implement the business plan, identify the entrepreneurial traits and skills in business, identify the part of the business plan and understand macro environmental sources of opportunities. For now, let's have a challenge first. It's called odd man out. Analyze the following set of words. Identify which does not belong to the group. You also have a guided questions. I believe you're all ready with our pre-test. Fill in the blanks with words that will make each concepts out advantages of learning entrepreneurship correct. Make sure to observe the time. You are doing great. Now, let's continue and identify entrepreneurial traits, skills and competencies a significant factor before you start a business venture. An entrepreneurial venture starts with opportunity that an entrepreneur needs to exploit. The way for you to uncover or discover these opportunities are limitless, from noble ideas through utilization of new technologies or ideas to observing emerging trends and patterns and identifying specific customer segments. And market refers to a group of people or organization as that has an interest on a product of service, has resources, and permitted by law and other regulations to purchase the given product or service. One way to recognize a potential market is to analyze the market need and opportunities through its environment. Let's know more about macro environmental sources of opportunities. This refers to the big or external forces that affect the area, the industry, and the market which the enterprise belongs to. This is categorized as follows for Morado, year 20, 16. Number 1. Socio-cultural environment. This includes the demographic and cultural factors including beliefs, tastes, customs and traditions. For number 2. Political environment. This depicts the governance system of an area or local region of the business enterprises. It includes but not limited to laws, rules and regulations that control their business practices along with permits, approvals, and licenses required to manage the business. We have number 3, economic environment. This is characterized by the income level of region which in turn dictates the purchasing power of the customers. Competitiveness of its industries and enterprises also defines this type of environment. And for number 4, ecological environment. This includes living and non-living things around us. A growing environmental awareness for taking care of our planet and prolonging of lives opens opportunities for business. Drives for a clean and green earth and healthier living. And for number 5, 
technological environment, one of the nightmares of entrepreneurs is to be left behind by the newest trends and technological discoveries that will make their own products obsolete. Thus technological offerings for the improvement of their own ventures is unavoidable for them. Observe the given example. Now, let's all be motivated with this word. If you fail to prepare, you are preparing to fail. This is a famous statement of Sir Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of the United States. And also our very own, and our pride, our Pambansang Kamo. Manny Pacquiao prepares for months before any fight, for him, to be ready with other goal in mind but to win. This is also true in starting any business venture. This can be done through writing a business plan. Now, we will explore more about business plan. A business plan is a formal written description of your business future by defining your goals, strategies to meet the goals, and the time frame for the achievement of those goals. We have, minimize or remove risk of losing money, investment on poorly researched business that may result to financial instability should have avoided. You must see all sides of the venture before letting go of any resources. Next, avoid costly mistakes. Unplanned decisions may result to negative outcomes that may hurt the business. Next, anticipate the financial requirements, futuristic view of the increase or decrease of demand on the given product or service will prepare you in meeting business obligations. Another is, organize the activities beforehand, thinking in advance, you must look at the near and distant future, contingency plans must be present for anticipated concerns that may arise. Next, assess actual performance against set goals. Having a clear goal will help you achieve your target in terms of sales, revenue or even expenses. Another is, apply for financing from lending institutions. There are cases that financial assistance from other people or organization is needed to start a business. A good business plan may encourage investors to entrust you their resources but remember to be wise whenever you are lending money for its intended purpose for the growth of the business. Always remember that in writing a business plan, you must have a specific audience in mind and answers to possible important questions that may arise. To start, you may follow the format below, according to Edrelin, 2016. Let's know now the parts of a business plan. First, executive summary. Second, management and organization. Third, product or service plan. Fourth, market plan. And fifth, we have financial plan. Observe the sample SWOT analysis of a small online bake shop. As you can see, ID emphasize strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. I believe you're all ready with our exploration 1.0. The following are in a form of group work, each member of the group should participate and cooperate. You will do the assigned task provided with rubric. Before doing this activity, I would like to remind each one of you to work in saw safe and clean place to avoid any accident that may harm you while doing this activity. You may ask the help of your members, teacher if needed. Again, you are guided with rubrics. For activity 1, Read and answer each item. Write your answer on separate sheet. Match the core competency on the left with its description on the right. Make sure to observe time. And for activity 2, identify the macro environmental source of opportunity shown in each situation. Choose your answer from the box and write its corresponding letter on your paper, strictly no erasures. Don't forget to observe time.
Another is activity 3. Identify the part of the business plan defined in each item. Choose your answer from the choices in the box. Write the letter that corresponds to your answer in your notebook. And for activity 4, learning task, what I have learned, these are for learners who cannot perform well because he or she is suffering from illness. You are provided with what I have learned paper for you to be able to write your thoughts. You can also use any dialect that you're comfortable to use to. Great! You finished answering the questions and for completing the learning task. Congratulations and keep on learning! For us to be able to complete our topic with understanding, let's have a wrap up. Let's supply our ideas to this unfinished statement. I learned that. I believe you're now ready to have your evaluation to test the learnings that you've understand. Write true if the statement is correct, otherwise, write false. Strictly no erasures, make sure to observe time. You're doing great, you finished answering the questions, congratulations, and keep on learning. Let's reflect and value this, give a man a fish, and he will eat for a day. Teach him how to fish, and he will eat for a lifetime. For additional learnings, label the entrepreneur below, with the sections of the business plan that can be associated with his body, Justify your answers by giving examples. Hands, financial plan. The hands are used for handling things. In business, the hands are responsible for giving and receiving. Here's your rubric. Make sure to follow the direction. Please continue to study your lessons and observe health protocol. Make sure also to familiarize this Republic Act number 1075 and for the question of the day why should i care make sure to think before you click and please be responsible in using technology and use it with limits whatever you do use your creativity that can make you happy and being creative makes a person unique all the pictures videos ideas modules and links are credited in the references Happy learning everyone and thank you for listening. God bless and keep safe. See you again next meeting.